It was a major public relations exercise staged with the full cooperation of the Indian government. Jeep loads of journalists crossed the Indo-Pakistan border with no interference from the Indian frontier security men on duty at the marker post. Less than a mile down the dusty track, we came to our destination, the village of Baba Para. A triumphal arch with the motto, Joy Bangla, Long Live Bengal, and a crowd of about 1,500 villagers awaited the arrival of the Bangladesh cabinet. Though the ministers had been sworn in on the 10th of April, this was to be their first appearance in public. With some ceremony, the acting president, Mr. Syed Najrul Islam, took the salute and then inspected the Guard of Honour. These men were answers, a sort of home guard unit. They might have been more actively employed in confronting the West Pakistani troops, then only 20 miles or so away. There was no mistaking the emotion the idea of an independent East Bengal aroused as the now familiar flag was hoisted before the assembled cabinet. As the applause died away, musicians played what has now become the national anthem, an old song composed by the great Bengali poet Tagore, Golden Bengal, I Love You. His ministers ranged behind him, the acting president made an impassioned appeal to the countries of the world for recognition and help. So I request my foreign journalists to convey to the respective nation that if liberty has got any sanctity to them, if democracy has got any value to them, as if human dignity has got any sense with them, then I will able to the civilized governments of the world, big and the small part, the Afrasian countries and to the European countries to realize it, recognize it, to come to our help and to do something positive to elevate the misery of the unfortunate people of Bangladesh. Though his military commander, newly promoted General Osmani, must have told the cabinet how badly the war was going for the Bangladesh forces, the Prime Minister, Mr. Tajuddin Ahmed, refused to admit what every journalist there knew to be the realities of the situation. Richard Lindy, News at 10, Bapapara.